no, it is Reviews Day Tuesday, today it is The Quiet as Mask Book Club, and I am reviewing The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. This book was written in 1859 and it is described as one of the first mystery novels, and it uses multiple narrators to tell its story. And that story is that Walter Hartwright gets a job at Limeridge House in Cumberland as a drawing master to Laura Fairley and her half-sister Marion Halcombe. On his way there, he encounters a mysterious woman dressed all in white, and it later turns out that she had escaped from an asylum. Walter and his new pupil Laura fall in love and he has to leave because Laura is engaged to be married to Sir Percival Glyde and things get worse and worse for Laura and her sister after the marriage due to the behaviour of Laura's new husband and also his friend Count Fosco, leading eventually to Walter having to try and find out what has happened to his beloved and the mystery surrounding Sir Percival Glyde and the woman in white. I really enjoyed this book, I was a little into intimidated by its length to start with, but I needn't have been really because I found it to be a pretty easy read overall. It was well plotted, I was always wondering what was going to happen next as the mysteries unfolded, and the book really benefits from its multiple narrators. I loved that aspect of the book, the characters' different ways of telling the story. Walter is the most common narrator, but we also have journal entries from Marion. We have a very reluctant narrator for a while in Laura's uncle, Mr. Fairley, which I really loved. I loved that whole section written by him. It really drew me into the book to have its structure and the way the story is being told part of the story itself. There are some really wonderful characters in this book. Walter Hartwright is maybe the least memorable. He has quite a few everyman qualities, but all the characters around him are very vividly painted and distinct, whether they be major or minor characters. Percival Glyde and Count Vosco are pretty great villains, I thought. The latter arguably more interesting, and his wife as well. And in Laura and Marion, I thought we had a couple of really fantastic female characters, both strong women in very different ways, which I liked. They were recognisable and relatable. I felt like I understood them and their choices and their reactions to things. Even though Laura was never one of the narrators, she could have had that whole damsel in distress thing going on, but I personally never really thought of her as that. She was far more interesting to me than I thought she would be when I first met her on the page. One of the biggest themes in the book is mistreatment of women. Laura and other female characters in the book are let down by the law, by their husbands, by other men and women, and it's often very frustrating and infuriating to see what little power uh, Laura and Marion have to protect and defend themselves and their rights and their property. And I found it satisfying when they found ways to resist and, you know, in some cases just to survive. They were very resilient and I admired that. So yeah, I enjoyed this book a whole lot. I was never bored. I feel like if Walter had narrated the whole book, I could have been. Not that he was an annoying or boring character in any way, but I felt like the changes of perspective really lifted the book, made it feel less like a 569 page dry Victorian novel and the drip feed of information helped too, I think. The discoveries of more information, the addition of new mysteries to be solved, it really helped move it along. I would give The Woman in White 4.7 out of 5, and I would definitely recommend it. I would love to know what you think about The Woman in White, if you have read it, did you enjoy it as much as I did? The next book I will be reviewing on this channel is Spectacles by Sue Perkins, and that should be on Tuesday the 17th of July. After that I'm hoping to review Vanity Fair, and that's penciled in for the 14th of August. Let's move across to the end screen if you would like to see my latest video or some more book reviews from me then you can do so below me here and you can also subscribe to my channel or visit my website if you should wish to beside me here. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you later on in the week.